Namaste. In this video, we are going to discuss the rules to draw the ray diagrams. In the case of plane mirrors, we have seen the image formation uh, is virtual and direct. The size of the image is the same as that of the object. Like that, we have seen the case of a plane mirror, the image formation. But in the case of spherical mirror, convex mirror and concave mirror, the according to the position of the image, we have to draw the diagram. These are called the ray diagrams. In the case of concave mirrors, for different positions of the object, we are getting different position for the image. So let us see where we will get the image and what will be the nature of the image, what will be the position of the image, what will be the size of the image, etc. to understand. In order to understand that, we need ray diagrams. But in order to draw the ray diagrams, you should understand some rules. Whenever we are drawing the ray diagrams, at least we need two rays to complete the diagram. Minimum two rays are required. Here four rules are there. From that four rules, you can choose any two rules to draw the diagram. But you should study the four rules clearly. Okay. First, uh, now we can study the rules based on these diagrams. Whenever you are drawing the ray diagram, first you draw. First you draw the principal axis and mark. Here is the center. Center of curvature will be here for concave mirror. Right. P. Right. This is 8 centimeter in length. So taking your compass, fix it here and put an arc at this point P. This will be the arc you made with the compass. Like this. Draw the arc. This arc is your concave mirror. At this point, you fix the compass and draw. Take the points C, P and F is the midpoint of C, P. This is F. That is principal focus. That is in between at the center. Almost at the center. From the point C, you draw an arc to pass through P. So this P acts as the pole of the mirror. Right. That is the pole of the mirror. And C the center of curvature and F is the principal focus. This is the way to draw your concave mirror. And this is the reflecting surface. You turn the reflecting surface always towards left. Right. Then you can produce this principal axis. Extend this principal axis after this. And this is how we are drawing the mirrors. Before you draw, take a scale and uh, uh, mark for a particular length. Uh, uh, mark the point C. From that point C, draw an arc. And then your drawing will be almost accurate. Right. Let us then, let us go to the rules. What are the rules behind these ray diagrams? In order to draw the ray diagrams, what all rules we have to follow? Let me draw a concave mirror first. This is the concave mirror. Okay. 
and this is the principal axis. This is supposed to be the center of curvature. This is F and this is P. The first rule is that a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection pass through the point F. That is the first rule. So you draw a ray parallel to the principal axis like this. And after reflection, what happens to this ray? It passes through F. So we have to draw the figure in this way. When you are drawing the ray diagram, show the path of light follows by the arrow mark. That is the first rule, rule number one. The next rule is that, second rule, in the same way you have to draw the mirror. This is the principal axis. This is the on the mirror. C F P. Okay. Then the next rule we you can say is that just opposite to this. This is ray parallel to the principal axis pass through the focus. Okay. Next is the ray passing through the focus. What happens to this ray? Just opposite to this. The first row. Passing through the focus. So the arrow mark will be like this. Becomes parallel to the principal axis. Just opposite. Just becomes parallel to the principal axis. Then these two rules are just opposite. So you can understand it easily. That is why both of them I together one after the other I quoted. The ray passing through the principal focus becomes parallel to the principal axis. This is because the reversibility of light. Light can be reversible. That is why in the first case, parallel pass through the focus. Here, through the focus becomes parallel. Okay. Next, third one. In the third case, let me rub. The this is the principal axis again third rule this is C this is F this is P ok these three points are important the ray passing through C that is this ray has no change at all. They pass through the same path. Retraces its path. That is the meaning. The ray passing through the center of curvature retraces its path. Clear. So the ray through the focus over through the point C is over. Next comes the ray through P. What happens to the ray through P? For that, here C, F, P, right. 
the rate will be like this, no? Will heat like this. And what happens to this ray? This will reflect it back with the same angle of reflection to the other side. With the same angle. This ray reflected back with the same angle. This rule you avoid please because it is difficult for you to measure the angles and draw the figure the accurately. So it is better to avoid this rule and uh, you can choose any three rules. And from that rule you choose the two one, any two to draw the ray diagram. This rule can be avoided. These are the rules behind the ray diagram. Okay. Let us continue with the ray diagrams in the next class. You study the rules well by drawing it in your rough book. Draw it again and again. Then only the ray diagrams will be thorough for you. See you next time. Thank you.